How to use basic kitchen items to make a one-of-a-kind DIY table. Hey guys, Cedar Essentials here. I'm going to be starting out today's DIY with a form tube that I got from Home Depot. And I did use some part of this for another project, so this is the leftover. I'll be using this for a table DIY. Now the top of the table is going to be a round wood that I also got from Home Depot and I'll be attaching it to the form tube with corner braces. I got these straws from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be gluing them to the form tube. I used seven packs for this project. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Because I would like a 3D effect on this table, I'm going to be using baking cups to give me just that. I'll be attaching these to the form tube with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. I'll apply a thick amount of the strong adhesive on a round ring first before I then start attaching the plates with a hot glue. That way I don't have to individually apply the strong adhesive with the hot glue, which would take too much time. So I will go around with a strong adhesive first on each layer so that the only thing that I'll be doing one after the other is applying hot glue to the baking cups to attach them to the form tube. I used four packs of the baking cups. I'll be using silver plastic spoons from the Dollar Tree to cover up the shape of the baking cups that are showing by the sides. This wavy or zigzag pattern here at the edges of the cup is what I like to cover so that the baking cups don't look too obvious on the table. Contrary to what a lot of you may think, when these plates are glued together, they are strong. I'll paint the wooden top with gold acrylic paint. dry I decided to just use this tray here that I got from Party City and cut out the middle part and see how I can decorate the table with it. This can be like this on its own attached to the wood or you can have a mirror on top first before putting this on top of it. It really depends on how you want your table to look like. But I wasn't too comfortable with the fact that I could still see the wood and that's not really my style. So what I'm going to do now is use Mod Podge over the table and then get napkins that I've had for a while and cover the table with it. I applied a thick layer of Mod Podge over this and then I carefully cut out the excess napkins. And then I made sure that the edges are well sealed and glued properly to the table with Mod Podge. I left this to dry and then I gave you two more coats for a smoother finish at the top. 
The top can be left the way it is. Or the cutout tree can be placed in the middle. Or even a mirror. It's all up to you. I'm currently working on my she shed slash craft room and this table is going there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below. Do check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.